All right, guys, what is good it is the newbie here, and welcome back to today's video. And in today's video, I'm going to be discussing how you guys can actually get the Red Bandit Top Hat on Roblox for absolutely free. I wanted to go ahead and make this video because this is one of the coolest Roblox hats that you guys could actually go ahead and still get today that is actually for free. Like, I'm being real. You don't have to pay a single dime for it. It's actually really cool. So I recommend you guys stay to the end of this video to actually go ahead and find out. But obviously, without further ado, let's jump right into it. So I'm going to assume most of you guys do not know what the Red Bandit Top Hat is or what the top hat series on roblox is in general but to give a very brief assumption or just an explanation on what the top hat series on roblox is it's basically an old series of roblox hats made in the very early days of roblox that all use the exact same mesh but what distinguishes them from one another is their line on the hat their line can be different colors and depending on what color it is it can make the value higher or lower for example the green bandit top hat is a you know for example a very cheap item i think it goes for around 8,000 robux i haven't really checked yet but we could take something like the blue bandit top hat which goes for two times the price it is 22,000 robux but literally what distinguishes them from one another is that it just has a blue line and there's a lot of these roblox hats they've existed for a very long time i'm pretty sure the blue bandit top hat was one of the first if not the first roblox hat to ever be created but yeah that's just a little bit of an insight on what the roblox top hats are but there does exist a lot of these roblox top hats but one of them has a certain way of getting it that distinguishes them from all that i think makes them very very interesting and obviously that would be the red bandit top hat now if you go to the red bandit top hats link in the catalog it shows that this roblox item is not available to buy you are not actually able to go ahead and buy this roblox item for roblox since it literally says that this item is currently not on sale now before i actually go ahead and reveal how you guys actually go ahead and get this roblox item i want you guys to just guess how do you guys think you get this roblox item now obviously you cannot pay for it and obviously you cannot just request a roblox admin to let you buy this roblox item since that's kind of stupid which is probably Probably one of the most logical answers people could really think of when seeing this roblox item but the description really does show on how you guys could actually go ahead and get this roblox item the description says awarded to the most outstanding and extremely helpful testers if you ask you should neither receive if you get one consider a personal thanks from the admins to you now it's a little bit vague but obviously i will be going ahead and showing you guys how you guys could actually get this hat to get this hat you have to report a glitch or a bug to the roblox staff what i mean by this is that you have to go inside of roblox and find anything that is worthy of being like I guess a glitch or something that could really get the Roblox website affected in Roblox games and stuff like for example you can go into Roblox studio and you could just try and you know script or just find stuff in the like, Roblox studio or in the Roblox app that could potentially affect it and once you do that you have to go ahead and report it to the Roblox staff now the reason that they made this whole entire hat was actually for a very specific reason see back in the very early days of Roblox Roblox did not actually have a lot of manpower to actually do these types of things roblox was a way smaller company back in you know the earlier days meaning that they didn't have enough employees to do type of things like you know go ahead and find glitches and stuff so they made this hat to specifically award people that actually went ahead and reported bugs to the roblox you know staff and stuff and once you reported that bug to the roblox staff they would obviously give you this roblox item right here now when these types of hats are brought into consideration a lot of people ask what type of bugs you have to report and those bugs that you'd have to report are very minor ones to actually go ahead and get this hat so there's a whole nother series of roblox hats that are called the boss white series which basically are awarded to people that you know find more severe glitches i'll make a whole other video talking about how you guys could actually go ahead and get those ones but for the sake of this video to get this roblox hat you don't actually have to report anything really serious you just have to report something that's somewhat minor and you just have to tell the roblox staff because really anything helps and you're doing this all for free not actually go ahead and report this to a roblox staff member you guys actually have to go ahead and actually go to a roblox website this is called roblox roblox.com slash support which basically once you go to this website it will give you a form to fill out in this form it will request your first name and pretty much just your email address confirm your email address and your roblox username to actually give you this hat once you know you're awarded it and then in the issue details you're supposed to just pick whatever you know platform you found this on if you found this bug on xbox or ipad or something you would put it like that and where it says types of help category i recommend you guys press ideas and suggestions because they used to have something called bug report but it doesn't look like that's there anymore so i would just recommend doing that but yeah basically after you send their email and stuff with the whole body text and whatever after you know just select all the categories and stuff they'll probably get back to you in a couple days either with further steps or giving you this roblox item and after that that's pretty much how you guys could actually go ahead and get this roblox item you literally don't have to pay a single dime for it now i recommend if you guys are actually gonna go ahead and do this please do not be rude to the roblox staff and stuff if they don't give you the item because sometimes you do find glitches and stuff and they will fix 
it, but you will not get the item. So if you don't get the item, do not ask Roblox support for it, or do not just, you know, be rude to them. It's just really inconsiderate and stuff, and I just recommend you guys don't do that. But after that, that's pretty much it. I want to know you guys' opinions on this in the comment section below. What do you guys think about this? Personally, in my opinion, I think if you guys have any free time and you just want to help Roblox to actually go ahead and get this hat, I recommend you guys actually go ahead and do that. But obviously, leave your suggestions in the comment section below, and let me know what you guys want to see in the future. I do read all comments and i try and respond as many as i can but yeah guys that's gonna be it for today's video thank you guys for watching come like subscribe join the roblox group link in the description below follow my twitter at underscore cringe underscore 101 and join the discord server link in the description below and by the way we are almost at 10,000 subscribers almost 500 away so i recommend you guys actually go ahead and subscribe we really want to hit 10,000 subscribers soon but again guys i'll see you guys in the next video tomorrow i'm the newbie peace out